What's up, my Treasure Xers? How you doing? I hope you all you know me. Toy Insanity is the world famous Treasure X Tuesday unboxing experience every Tuesday. Set your calendars. Like, share, subscribe. It costs you nothing. All right, check it out. This is episode 162. We do indeed have a one, a six, and a two. One. Monster Gold Mini Beast. So, uh, you know, two weeks ago, I looked at a full case. Case is 12. Set is 12. The case is the set. Mwah. Perfectissimo. Thank you, Moose. Six is going to be first look ever of anything related to Series 2 Dino Gold. It does say right here, 12 mini dinos to collect across Series 2. So are we getting new hunters? We will see six of those. First look ever, including even having a peek at the checklist. And the two will be two more of the insane Series 1 Dino Gold Mini Beast. So there's your box comparison. Series 2 has dropped this week at Walmart. Okay. These I still have only seen at Five Below. My local Five Below seem to have plenty. They've each gotten about three cases. Remember, if you're lucky enough to find the full case, full case is the full set. What I'm curious about, one of the great reasons I got an extra one, love this set, love it, first of all, is uh, we found that in the, the full case that we revealed two weeks ago, Episode 160, I showed that this code 01 only showed up one time in the entire case of 12. Most of them said 03. In fact, 10 of 12 said 03. 01 was in there only one time, and it was the gold. The gold back spider. So we're finding 01, finding the gold. Will I have another gold here? Probably not, but it's worth checking. Dino Gold Series 2 Mini Beast Walmart, and the only place in my locality that still has Series 1 Dino Gold, and of course you know I'm still looking for exactly one, is the store called Family Dollar. Bust my thumb nut already. Alright. Oh, cool. I definitely got a different character in 01. Oh, oh. But, we absolutely proved the case is the set. If you see a virgin, untouched, unpicked case, buy that sucker. $60, the figures are great. And this is, gold or not, this is the guy I said was my favorite. I'll look at his name in a minute. Indeed. Whoop, 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 whoop. Gold back, bling back, golden back spider. Insane. So I will clean that gunk off, have him assembled, because I gotta pause anyway to put these eight packs on water. His name is Tentagold. Love it. That is a great sculpt. I don't care who you are. Let's roll with the broken glove and just compare these checklists. So, you're gonna. Enjoy this fact. I counted up all the episodes trying to complete Dino Gold Mini Beast Series 1. All the packs since, I believe, episode 121. January. January of this year, we had our first look. And it has been exactly 100 packs. Insane. So this is pack 101 and 102 opening today. And the fact is, Moose went full insane with this set making one two three four five six six of the twelve there are only twelve figures six of the twelve can only be found in one in twenty four packs all six of those characters are as rare as the gold in fact all six of those characters come with the same gold mysterious egg now i have found five of the six all organically meaning from uh, pack pools on video, not purchasing them on eBay or doing any kind of trade. I'm still looking for Chompasaur. Sure hope Chompasaur is in one of those two packs. No coding, and in fact, we revealed, I think it was way back episode 122 or something, We, I bought the full case of 12 and got each of these guys twice. And, and back then I was I was thinking, oh, they're doing waves. we got to wait for a different pack type. we got to wait for them to show up in the six packs at Five Below or... Family Dollar or something, because the full case of 12 I had gotten at Target. I got each of those guys twice. Did not get any of the rares. 
Now, the reason I'm pointing all that out again is because with the Series 2 minis, are they doing that method? Are they doing that ins insane route where to complete a set of 12, you're buying 100 plus packs, still not having the set complete with ridiculous rarity ratios, not only on the gold, but on six different figures. Are they doing that again for these Series 2 dinos? Now you can see uh, the blocks are different. The packaging is mostly the same. We get this guy up here. We don't know his name yet. Instead of this guy down here, different dinos on the side. The steps are effectively the same on the back. They just put them a couple things in different orders. Like this one, they want you to look at the dino, then look at the treasure. This one, you should definitely look at the treasure, then look at the dino. Okay, let's check the rarity on the gold. One in 24 packs contain real gold dip treasure, same as this. But what we never anticipated, that each of those dinos would have the gold, and each of those dinos would be one in 24 packs. Now, Series 2, we don't know yet. My Walmart had six packs. So, they and uh, there was no outer case of any type on the shelf. First look, will these be like this? Does it come in a case of 12? Does the case of 12 get you this set of 12? Or will they be like this, where you're spending hundreds of dollars on hundreds of packs? That's $500. I don't even want to think about it. Hundreds of dollars. And, I, and I've said before, Chompasaur, the one I'm still missing, no one has even put it on eBay. No one is finding that. Okay. So did they go this strategy or this strategy? Will this set be insanely hard to complete, just making me uh, full of contempt and resentful against Moose? It says here, Collector's Edition Mini Dino. That's... That's looked like it is swaying toward this already. Standard edition mini dinos. Let's read these names and then I'll put everything on water. Goldasaur and Blue Shine. So they're taking that new sculpt and they're saying both of them, both of them will be collector's edition, potentially extremely hard to find. Brontor, Bron Stomp. Both of that sculpt allegedly potentially could be extremely hard to find. And then Bone Shine, what am I talking about? That's a third version of the same sculpt and a third version of that sculpt. So they, you know, no consistency even in having two, two of the sculpt. Because this one, at least, there's it, it a dumb strategy to make us spend so much money. But at least you got a common version. Real easy to get those six common versions. I have that set of, that partial set of six, probably ten times each. Think about it. I, this is 102 packs, okay? And then those, but here... You know, how hard is it going to be to even see those new sculpts? Okay, well, okay. I'm going to give them this. Don't forget, this guy, this guy, and this guy were returning sculpts from Series 2 or 3, I believe. Oh, my gosh. So, but what they're doing, look at what they're doing, okay? The standard editions are the third sculpt of these. So it's going to turn out between these two sets of mini beasts... You're going to get this sculpt three times, this sculpt three times, etc. So, one, two, and then... Oh my gosh, no, that... Uh, wait, this is all so worse. So worse, no consistency. Okay, so the Stegosaurus, this is our third Stegosaurus. He's called Spiker. He was called Spiker before. Don't even get a new name. Okay, so there's Spiker, Spiker, Stegold. Attackadactyl, Attackadactyl, and Treasure Beak. Rhinosaur, Styractor Common, Rhinosaur, Rare, Blingadon... Blingadon and Fossilsaur, Chompasaur, Chompasaur Rare, and then Aloe Snap. And then, and then this is how they went stupid. They went full blown stupid. A fourth. Oh, there's so many levels of stupid here. A fourth Stegosaurus. Spiker, Rich Rap, uh, Spiker, Stegold. But do you see, do you see, did you already catch the, uh, ninth factor of stupidity here? They called the. They called that dude Rich Rap. They meant to put Rich Rap in here. So Rich Rap... Oh. <laughs> Man, already! Okay, I'm going to put these on water. I'm going uh, to do some uh, meditation and calm down. And we'll be right back. Okay, thumbs up. Be right back. All right, thank you for smashing like. 20th Sanity's Treasure Eggs Tuesday, episode 162. So far, we have gotten a bonus. Tentagold. The Tentagold. Cthulhu Demon Dude. One of the coolest figures from any series. Hunters are now considered, in Monster Gold, they're considered minis. $5 price point. We've got one of the most substantial golds yet. The bling bag spider. Very cool. Cool gloves, man. Yo, I should paint that one blue. He does actually have gloves on. All right, okay, okay, all right. 
and that pack had an 01 on the bottom. Now, I should have mentioned the six I was able to get from Walmart, they all have the same sequence. WS4109210506. And surely one store was not sent six of the same figure. Well, let's get started. First look ever at a Series 2 Dino Gold Mini. And it is the Styractor Sculpt. And we're dealing with the bugs, the treasure bugs. I didn't even look at the treasures. Oh, I was just getting so angry thinking of how much money I'm going to waste trying to complete another series. Yeah, it's the bugs again from the Dino Go Hunters. Are we going to see a Series 2 Hunters? Because it's, it's not like the Series 1 Mini Beast even had a comfortable correspondence one-to-one. -one. You know, this guy's clearly the pet of this guy. They didn't even, they didn't even do that. Ah, uh, Treasure X, I mean, it's definitely a cool line, a cool series of toys, but man, it'd be a lot cooler if they went ahead and done did make maximum consistency. Rhinosaur, okay, they're calling him the name of the rare version from one. Let's go and look at one of these from one. Not going to be anybody rare, it's going to be Rich Rap. Rich, hey, Rich Rap, you don't need... What's even going on? I, I don't know, I'm looking for a Trompasaur, that's the... That's the uh, Rare variant of Rich Rap. We know Rich Rap is not rare, and we know he's not going to have gold. Okay, so that's pack 101. 101, my dudes. Let's throw this guy down. Pack 102. Will I ever find Rich Rap? Nope, that's a tack, uh, dactyl. Will his parts all be in there? Will they be correct? Sometimes you know. Sometimes you know they put in two left arms instead of a right arm and stuff like that. Onward forward. The other five. Walmart. September 2021. Dino Gold Mini B Series 2. And they do say Series 2. They do not want us to call Dino Gold Series 6 in the overall line. Just like the aliens. Dinos are their own thing. Okay. And then if you notice upon checkout at 5 below with these, it'll say Treasure X S7. S series 7 official is Monster Gold. Okay, we get the new Ankylosaurus sculpt, Blingadon, common figure, and he has a little snail in there. Okay, pack three, Toy Insanity, Dino Gold. Okay, it's one of these so-called Collector's Edition figures right there. Goldosaur. Goldosaur. Okay. Now we need to know, does he have gold? Which is the gold gold treasure. Gold treasure. For his papal. Mm. No, he's a regular bug. So, that is one thing. Pointing toward this not being full-blown maximum insanity like the Series 1 minis. Is that we just... We did so far get one of those so-called uh, so called LEs, and he doesn't have the gold. Okay, that's that's a good thing compared to what they went and done did with Series 1. Okay, so maybe the case of 12, if you find a full case, maybe the case of 12 will get you the set of 12, and then it's just maybe not the gold. Okay, so this guy nowadays is called Spiker, returning sculpt, and he has a little red spider. <clears throat> New sculpt, new sculpt, and it's going to be up here, okay? New sculpt for the entirety of the toy line. He's called Bront Brontaurus, a regular sort of red bug. That's good. So we got two from the top level. That never happened in Series 1. Okay, now my last guy sunk. That's okay. Maybe that means there's some gold in there. Okay, okay. This is good. This is good. Six packs, all from the same store, none dupes. If you do see these put out in a case at your Walmart or other store, I'm thinking the case of 12 is likely the set of 12, and you may or may not get the gold. This is the sculpt called Attackadactyl. Oh, yeah, remember, it's sunk, so maybe the gold is in there. 
I don't know. At this point, I don't know. I prefer it. Please don't eat that clay. Oh my gosh, guy. No, he has a figure. Okay, thumbs up. We'll be right back with the full assembly of these. All right, thanks for the thumbs up. We're back with the first look of Series 2. I don't go with mini beasts. Okay, okay. We got two from the top shelf. This guy's called Goldosaurus. And using the same sculpt is Boneshine. You'd think this would be Goldosaurus, wouldn't you? Go Bo Boneshine, Goldosaurus. We, there will be a third from that sculpt called Blue Shine. Okay. All from the bottom level called Standard Edition. Attack a Dactyl. This will be the fourth figure overall using this sculpt. Blingadon. Rhinosaur. And Spiker. Spiker is the one they put in here twice. The two new sculpts. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And then this says Rich Rap. It could turn out Rich Rap is actually in Series 2. Most likely with this finish. And they just rendered the wrong figure for the checklist. Or maybe we will see Spiker again labeled Rich Rap by accident. But we did get Rich Rap today. Series 1, of course. Back again. And then that is Allosnap. Allosnap in the new series is called Chompasaur. Because his variant that I'm still looking for is Chompasaur up there. Collector's Edition. Super rare. Crackle finish. Okay. And then we'll look at these treasures. Right quack. X Beetle. Mysterious Mosquito. Ancient Arachnid. Preserved Centipede. Snail of Stone. And another. No, no, no. Some kind of fly. Dragonfly of Destiny. It looked like a regular fly. Not a dragonfly. Just saying. Okay, well, I sure had fun. Thanks for checking out the video. Check the Treasure X Plays, and I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> Goodbye.